So whenever React, uh, React starts the application and starts building a component or updating or receiving props or whatever, React is going to do everything in steps inside a component. So these uh, steps are going to be called React life cycles. So OK, I have a, I've created a, a class-based component just re uh, rendering just uh, some JSX, you know, just a normal class-based component, nothing uh, magical right here. And I've created a route for this. So since now you can use, you know how to use routes, you can create one in your own, you know. And right here, I go to life and I, I get life cycles. Really, really simple. We know how to do this. So now I'm going to go right here. And OK, I've created the class. React is going to be uh, using this component and then just rendering some JSX. So of course, we are just rendering this. But a lot of things happened before we render something. So React is going to do everything in steps. The first, the first step is going to be get default props, just like that. Whenever React starts the component, it's going to get the default props. That's why whenever we go right here and we say console log this, that props, the props are available for us to use inside the render, because this is the first thing that React is doing. It's the setting the default props inside the component. So if I go right here, we have the props that React Router is uh, passing. Remember that we React Router, we get the props. OK, so that's good. That's the first thing that it's going to do. I'm going to comment this. The second thing that React is going to do is going to set the default state. Right now, we don't have a state. So we're going to do it right now, set default, and then state. This is the second thing that React is going to do. And I'm going to say state equals to something. And then it's going to be equal to title. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy and paste it. So this is the second step. And that's why whenever we go to render and we say this, that state, that title, is going to be available for us inside this, that state. OK, so I'm going to say this, that state, that title, just like that. And of course, we are getting the, we get, we are getting the title. And this is the second thing that React is going to do. Then we have a third step that is going to be before render, just like that. And I'm, we're going to go back in a minute. So the fourth step is going to be the actual render, you know, just render JSX, JSX. And let me make this uh, right. This is the fourth step. And then we have an additional step that is going to be five after JSX. We have access to before and after the render method. OK, so the before render, we can have uh, access to some default, some built in methods, just like render. If we think about it, just render is a default method, method from React. Inside here, we have one that is going to be called component will mount. I'm going to say components, just like that, components, and then will and then mount, open and close. So this component, this code, this method is going to always render before something gets rendered. It's going to get called before we render something. So right here, I'm going to say console log, open and close, and just going to pass this text so we can view it on the screen. And after React is going to render this, uh, React is going to run this first, it's going to render this, and then it's going to run a different method that is going to be called instead of component will mount, it's going to be components, components, dit mount. Open and close. And I'm going to do the same thing after JSX, after render. Let's call it after render, makes more sense. I'm going to say console log, open and close, and then after render. Right. So if we go right here, we are getting the life cycles, and then we get three before render and five after render. So React is going to start the component, is going to set the default props, set the state, is going to run this code. And notice that I'm not uh, running this code and I'm calling this method. It's running by default. It's going to be executed by React. So we get three before rendering. Then it's going to render the JSX. That's why we get life cycles. And then, of course, we get five after render. It's going to go and by default run this component did mount. Good. OK, that's good. So now notice what happens if I'm going to copy. I'm just going to chop it. 
and put it before the component will mount. We know that uh, JavaScript executes, executes everything in, in a single order. So if I put it before the, the component will mount, this is still going to be executed after the component will mount. Still working. So let, let's me, let me do something else. I'm going to go right here. Uh, I'm going to say on the component will mount, I'm going to say documents, just like that, document dot, then query selector. And I'm going to select the H3 tag right uh, from the DOM. I'm going to say H3. And then I'm going to change the style. I'm going to change the uh, color to something else. Style, that color. And then it's going to, I'm going to say that it's going to be equal to red. So let me comment this. Now, if I copy this, let me just reload the application. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a typo. OK, one second. Let me copy this. I'm just going to delete it. And OK, so if I paste this on the browser, we are changing the uh, the uh, color of the H3 tag right directly from the DOM. Now, if I run this code on the component will mount, we're going to get an error, just like we were getting uh, before. Going to reload it and cannot read property style of null. So we are trying to change something, the color of something, an H3 tag that doesn't exist. Remember that component will mount will run before the render. So we don't have this inside the DOM just yet. And of course, we get the error and nothing gets rendered. Now, if I do the same thing, just going to copy and paste on the component did mount, we are doing it because this code was rendered and then this method what was executed. That's why we are able to change the color. So we have a lot of more of, the, of this. We can do a lot of more things. Let's uh, go to the next section and just keep moving forward this.